So we have something really exciting going on tomorrow, guys. Okay guys, today is a big day for us. Well, kind of big, not really big for me. We are moving Emma's bassinet, putting it away, bringing the pack and play into our room, and we are gonna start sleep training, which I know everyone has an opinion on it. We're not really looking for opinions is what Justin and I have decided to do. Um, but it's a, it's a big day for me because it's something I have been kind of dreading because I'm just, it's gonna be hard, it's not, it's not an easy thing to do. But we're gonna start by putting the bassinet away. We're also gonna put the rock and play away because she doesn't use that. The only time that she uses her rock and play is if I'm getting a shower and um, Justin can be home to do that. So <sighs> we're gonna put the rock and play away, which we usually keep right here, and the bassinet. And I think we're gonna put the pack and play right here in front of our mirror because I still want her in our room for now. Um, just I like having her nearby but we're gonna start doing that this what it feels like a Saturday but it's Sunday Sunday is off to a get things done type of start are you a big girl now you outgrew your bassinet oh yeah you're too long oh yeah <laughs> I bet on Monday they're gonna say she's still in like the 90th percentile for height, for height yeah because she's huge Justin is also putting away our air conditioner unit now since we're not really using it anymore. It's been really cold at night. This is my workout for the day. Yeah, this thing is really heavy. Um, but we're gonna put this in storage for next year or when we move. Good luck. Emma was laughing. She thinks that's funny. Okay, this is Justin's first time right. trying Rochelle some said, Vegemite. She, Rochelle said she didn't want to try it first. She wanted me to because- I said I don't want to try it I'm at the all. I'm the experimental <laughs> one in the relationship, so let's do this thing. Let's see. Don't like it? It doesn't really have flavor. It literally just, it's like soy sauce. You know like that, that real sodi like salty sodium taste of soy sauce? Yeah, so I'm That's not, so like. I'm definitely but not gonna be like, trying that. But it's like overwhelming. Yeah. Like, even that was too much. I thought that was just a little bit. I'm not gonna eat, I'm gonna Let us know in the comments again. if you guys have tried it and if you like Ooh, this stuff. That's because intriguing. apparently it's like a big thing in Australia. Mm. All right. I'm not well, trying that. I'm gonna try it again next time, but I think I overloaded this piece of toast too much. I think you're only supposed to do like a little bit, but everything I saw online, there was a lot. Either you love the it or you hate it, the apparently. The piece of toast I saw online was like smothered. It was smothered. Yep. Okay, back to the bedroom. Justin just put the air conditioner in storage, so we've got a lot more space over here. We put the pack and play in the corner by the mirror because um, I didn't want it to be that close to a window if there was a draft or something in the winter time. The bassinet is in storage, and so the bedroom is clean and taken care of. Whew, we are putting the rock and play away like we said, just kind of like cleaning up. Justin cleaned out something downstairs while I cleaned up upstairs. And now we can actually kind of breathe a little bit. I need to take her four month photos because she's four months old now as of three days ago. And I haven't taken them yet, so I think I'm gonna do that now.
Okay, guys, we just finished picking our two winners for yesterday's. Ow, Mister just scratched me. That's not for good. yesterday's vlog. Congratulations, um, for you the guys. giveaway. Make sure you guys do it today as well on this vlog. Make sure you comment. You can leave a little bit of information information about yourself if you yeah. want to as well, so we can get to know you. Mm -hmm. um, we are picking two winners on every vlog, and we are picking stuff from your registry that you need. Up until Christmas, guys, we got nine more days. Well, I don't know if we're gonna be uploading every day though. Gotcha. But we will let you know when we are uploading or yes. if we are not uploading. We're going to have a lot more videos still, though, going up. So every time we upload, make sure you guys do it. But yes. it's been fun getting to know you guys and to hear your stories, but also um, like see on your registry kind of what you guys like, what you guys are interested in yeah. or whatever it is. And we're excited cool. to give back to you guys. We love you guys and we appreciate your support and you guys rock. And now I think I'm going to take a nap because yeah. I'm tired. I was up all night. Emma is napping, so I think I might go nap with her because it's quiet and dark and the sound machine is on yeah. and it's cold. Maybe we both go up there. <clears throat> yeah, Justin was up really early too. Maybe we both go up and take a nap. That sounds good. Talk to you later. Bye. Off we go to the park. This is like the funniest feeling. I love watching him come back to me with that frisbee and drop, drop. Hey, he's doing so good with that now, aren't you? You just, the best boy. Oh, you cut your little tongue again, didn't you? You bit your tongue. He does that so often, guys. I don't know how he keeps doing that. I think when he's running to go get the frisbee, his tongue's out and he bites it. I've researched it and I don't know if you guys know or if you guys have dogs that do this a lot, but I read that it's not that common for it to happen. But Bo has this happen like maybe every other time that we come to the park where I'm like, dude, why did you bite your tongue, buddy? Well, someone's back to his normal self. He's not bleeding anymore, so we're gonna keep playing for a little bit. I guess that they have really good regenerative skills. Justin just got home from his walk and he disappeared into the garage and I hear a saw going. So I'm <laughs> Emma's chins, my chins. I'm curious to see what is going on out here. Hello. What are you doing? Making a bottle opener. A what? A bottle opener. I have one of my old shelves. Oh. From when I was did in the Did you finish Navy. it already? No, it's almost done. I gotta clean it up. Wait, what did you use? A drill. Oh, that's <laughs> why you wanted to buy that. Mm -hmm. You wanted this thing. So I can do projects. It's a Dremel, you mm -hmm. said? A Everyone Dremel. Needs, everybody needs a Dremel. If you don't have a Dremel, get a Dremel. You He's, need a Dremel for everything. I think Justin's most excited for when we do buy a house, just so he can have his own. Oh my God, my garage is gonna be awesome. I mean, <laughs> you just look like a already, little girl getting this excited. This is already like okay, but I already have so many plans. Guys, I made a, I made a Pinterest for like workshop and tools and garage and all that stuff. I have a picture. Hey, for I actually stuff. made this board for you. You did? I bought this pegboard and painted it and was like, babe, <clears throat> you can hang stuff on it. <clears throat> Heck right? yeah, you did. Right? No, but he's really excited to get like his own little like workshop space, I think. Mm -hmm. Wow, the neighbors are loud. Oh yeah. Um, to get his own little workshop space. Maybe you can make us a new table because ours is, let me show you guys what ours is. A lot of people ask where we got this table. We paid someone who was just starting off their own woodworking business to make it for us but they didn't really know what they were doing and we spent like a decent amount of money on it and it's completely crooked my mom says that she thinks that they use like wet wood that wasn't dry yet so it warped when we get a house that's what i'm looking forward to is getting a new dining room table i can't wait it's gonna cost us a couple thousand dollars probably if we want well not a couple thousand i don't know what do you guys think um of a nice dining room table i don't really know how much that would cost our first one was like a hundred dollars from ikea this one we paid probably five hundred dollars but it's gonna be kind of expensive to get a nice one with chairs unless you do the benches now um but leave in the, de the description box, I always say that, leave in the comments maybe like some affordable but nice dining room table websites or where you got yours from. I think living spaces we've gone to. I really love West Elm, but dang, that place is expensive. Emma, as, as much as I love holding you, baby, I gotta eat. How's dinner, good? How's leftovers? Oh, spaghetti? Yeah. 
I love spaghetti. Spaghetti yeah. leftovers is amazing. Make you make the best spaghetti. spaghetti. You make much better spaghetti than I do. My mom makes it good, so I got yeah. it from her. You know who makes it good? Kaylee. Kaylee makes good spaghetti. Kaylee makes everything good. She makes she's good, good tomato housewife. soup and spaghetti and mashed potatoes. Gosh, she's a good cook. We she need to hire her all the time. Cook. Just kidding. I love your cooking the best. Oh, okay, this is better. And but <laughs> we've had like pasta all day. I made pesto um, tortellinis for lunch, ow, ow, and we have leftover spaghetti from like two nights ago. So it's a it's a carb day. That's for sure. Total she, carbs. She Carbon is starting day. the hair pulling phase. Yes, we see that. She keeps grabbing this chunk. That's fun. It's not intentional, but it is not fun. But it it's fun for her. She likes it. She's so sweet. Mixing my leftover tortellini with the rest of the spaghetti. Guys, I don't know if I can tackle this. That's a lot of spaghetti, but I'm gonna try it. So we have something really exciting going on tomorrow, guys. I'm so excited for this. We are finally getting this piece of junk crap, oh crap, I almost said crap door. It is a crap door, but I meant to say back door. We're finally getting this back door replaced, guys. I don't know exactly all that they're doing, but I'm hoping that they're gonna replace the entire frame and give us like this. Nice, smooth, sliding back door with a nice handle that's not this piece of junk wood thing that's falling off. And I don't, I mean, I'll still use a dowel for extra security, but we have to have this dowel right now just so that nobody breaks into our house. So we're very excited, very thankful to our landlord they for finally getting this done for us. <laughs> um, it wasn't that we were waiting on them, we were actually waiting for the company who was gonna do it. They didn't call us back for like, what was it, like four weeks? Four or five weeks? Like we brought this up, we brought this up like maybe a month and a half ago just because it was getting really bad. It's when we couldn't open it like at all. You have to like lift up and pull and it just got to be way too much, especially when you're holding that little girl or trying to get in from the outside is like impossible. So it's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna be here alone with Emma when it's happening because Rochelle's gonna be getting her hair done. Cutie, it's gonna look good. Um, so that'll be interesting, that'll be uh, real fun. But if the guys need help, I'm gonna be like, sorry guys, I got daddy duty. We also have Emma's four month shots tomorrow. So oh that no, goes well. she don't want them. Look, she said no, they quit. Well, hopefully it goes well. They quit. But yeah, we're gonna show you guys the finished product tomorrow. I'm gonna be filming a little bit um, as they're doing it, if they are okay with that, because I think that'll be really cool, so you guys can kind of see the process. I'm excited to see how this is gonna work. I think it's gonna be fun. I love learning new things like that, so I'm gonna be like standing right here the whole time, being like, oh cool, what are you guys doing? And that's it's gonna be really neat. You're gonna have a baby. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna have Emma right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna be watching them stuff. It's gonna be fun to learn and see like how they do that, because I've never, I'm like, how are you gonna replace this entire back door? Like, what are you gonna demo here to, <laughs> to do this? I just don't, I can't understand it right now, but it'll be cool. Cool. I'm excited for that. But on that note, guys, um, we're very happy. Today's been a great day. Again, congratulations to Samantha and Caitlin for winning uh, the, uh, not the prize, but the giveaway uh, this morning. Make sure that you guys enter your name and your city and your state and your providence uh, <laughs> so that you guys can enter for a chance to get um, something from your guys' registry. We're really excited to be doing this for you guys. We love giving back and we love you guys. We love your support so much. I love these two girls. I love that guy. I love that guy. I love the Christmas spirit, the Christmas time. <laughs> We love you guys, and we hope you guys have a great night. Goodbye.